Hi, I'm Dom Kent, and today I'm going to take a look at the Modular V from Arturia for PluginBoutique.com. It's a modular synth with some amazing features that only a digital synth can offer. So let's take a look and I'll show you what it can do. So this is the Modular V. It's a huge synth based on the original Moog Modular. It's really not for the faint-hearted. Although this synth comes packed full of great presets, uh, it's especially good for those of you that really want to get stuck into things and make new sounds from scratch and experiment with different sound design techniques. All in all, there are nine oscillators, two LFOs, three filter slots, one noise generator, six envelopes and two VCAs. There are also 16 auxiliary VCAs and a 24 step sequencer to name a few. So. Starting with a basic layout, there are three main sections. The keyboard at the bottom, the sound design section in the middle, and the sequencer and FX section at the top. Before I go any further into this though, I'll just give you a quick preview of just some of the presets that are built in. So to reset the system to a blank one, I can head to the main menu here and go down to Templates, then Blank, and then Blank Synth. And now this is basically a clean slate template for building your own synth. You'll find your main oscillators are here, and you can choose what type of waveform to have here, from Sine, Triangle, Sawtooth and Square. So I'll choose a triangle here. And if I click and hold, then drag up to the input of filter 1 here, I've now set up my first connection. Now I want the output of the filter to go to the VCA in over here. And now this should have made a complete circuit and should hopefully make some noise like this. Now let's say I want to add some envelope shape to the filter. I can connect from the output of the first envelope module over here. And then drag it over to one of the mod connections in the filter here. And now it should sound like this as I play with the envelope dials. Now let's say I wanted a frequency shifter put in there. Where this second filter is, I can click on the filter type title like this, and it will scroll through the available units. However, if I click on the title above that, then I can choose the unit there. So I'll select Bode Shifter here. Now if I right click on the output of filter 1, and choose to remove connection, and then set the output of the filter to go to the input of the bode shifter and then the output of the bode shifter into the VCA in. Now I can play those notes again and shift the frequency like this. Now for something a little bit more experimental I'll grab one of these envelope units and turn it into a ring mod unit like this. Then I can grab a second oscillator and set the octave range to one above the first one. Then take a sawtooth wave out to the input of the ring mod unit. And then the output of that to the other VCA in here. Now this won't actually be getting triggered until I select the input trigger here and then selecting the keyboard trigger. Now I can play those same notes again 
and play with the gain at the VCA in and the ring mod dials too, like this. Now let's just centre those dials on the ring mod unit for a moment. Then let's get an LFO unit over here to the left. And then send a sine wave to frequency mod input on the ring mod like this. Now you'll hear that the modulation depth on the ring mod is oscillating slowly by the LFO unit like this. As you can hear, it's now starting to get really experimental and things are getting a little more complex. So I'm going to actually leave it right there though, because to be honest, I could just sit here playing with this all day. And that's exactly why I love this synth. So that's the basics of the Modular V and it's available via PluginBoutique.com now. Cheers. See you soon.